Hi, this video is for Hardware Project and myself Anshul. Hi, this is Shardul. This is Rohit. Today we are going to talk about the heat exchangers. Heat exchangers are basically device that is used to transfer the heat energy from the hot substance to the cold substance without any actual contact between both of this. The advancement that we are proposing in this system is basically the creation of longitudinal fins throughout the length of the copper tube by using a groove cutter. Now the application of this instrument is in various fields like in the fields of power engineering we can see in the boilers where, you, where we can use the heat extraction units as well in the surface condensers as well in waste heat recovery area which is our main concern here. Now we will see the components and the materials as well as the specifications that we will be using in the system. Now I am going to tell you the material that we are using in a shell and tube type heat exchanger. So this is the shell and tube type heat exchanger that we have prepared and uh, the material for the shell that we are using is a PVC pipe which is of length 1.3 feet and uh, diameter is 90 mm and the, for tubes we are using copper material which is of same length 1.3 feet and uh, the diameter of the copper tubes is 1 by 4 inches and we are using 6 tubes, 6 copper tubes and uh, for the baffles we are using the uh, aluminium sheet material and for pumping mechanisms we are using uh, submersible pumps both for the hot water and the cold water which are of same capacity and uh, for checking the mass flow rate we are using a container of 200 ml capacity and we are also keeping uh, uh, adhesives for preventing any leak, any type of leakages and for checking temperature we are, we are having thermometers and for uh, hot heating mechanism we are having heaters, water heater. Now we are going to discuss the construction of the heat exchanger. Let's see first how the baffles are constructed. This one is the baffle, that aluminum sheet that we are using. These are the six holes that are constructed at 60 degree symmetry. And this, this baffle is inserted one at inlet and the same over at outlet. And the inside baffles are constructed by cutting the original baffle into two parts, 4 is to 2 ratio. As you can see the holes over here. And one is kept like this and the other is in inverted way. As you can see the diagram over here. Inlet. This one is inlet. This, these two are the inverted baffles and this one is outlet and these are the copper tubes that we are going to use. As you can see the copper tubes, this one is a normal portion and this one is the corrugated, corrugated part. So in corrugation, in corrugated parts we are used groove cutter to cut the, to make the corrugation and you can see the overall increase in surface area is there due to corrugation. So due to this there is increase in heat transfer. And you can see the heat exchanger, this one, this one is the hot water inlet. Yeah. This one is hot water inlet and this one is hot water outlet and this one is cold water inlet and this one is cold water outlet and the hot water will flow in this direction and the cold water will flow in this direction so there is counter flow due to this there is in increment in heat transfer. So now let's see how the actual working of heat exchanger will take place. For the working part we first remove the heater from the container. Then we place the hot water pump, that is a submersible pump, inside the container and we connect it. Similarly, we place cold water pump inside the cold water container and we plug it. As we have already said, this is the cold water outlet and this is the hot water outlet. Now we are going to see how to see the temperature and how to measure the flow rate of both this cold water and hot water. Now to check the temperatures, I am keeping the thermometer at the mouth of the outlets. This is the cold water outlet and I am keeping at the mouth. And its temperature is coming as and its temperature is coming as thirty four degrees, which is two degree more than the cold water inlet. 
and now I am checking the hot water inlet outlet temperature. And it's still rising. Let's cross 40 degree. And it's coming as 45 degrees, which is 5 degrees less than the hot inlet temperature. Now I am checking the mass flow rate of the uh, cold water outlet. And I am taking the 200 ml container for this. And I am using the stopwatch. And it's coming as... Stop. And it, it's coming at three, three, three seconds. And uh, now the, we have seen that the cold water temperature has risen from 30 to 33 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. We have seen the demo. We have got the inlet temperature of hot water was 50 degrees Celsius initially. Now it has come to 45 degrees Celsius. And the cold water inlet temperature was 33 degrees Celsius, and it has come to 32, 35 degrees Celsius. So, if we perform the LMDD calculations, we get the efficiency of heat exchanger as 25%. Thank you.